David Cameron and Vladimir Putin met to date for the first time since June, and the Prime Minister, they said, was tough and clear with the Russian president. His country was at a fork in the road. If Russia continues to destabilize Ukraine and we continue to see Russian troops and Russian tanks inside Ukraine, then there's going to have to be a very different relationship between Britain and Europe uh, on the one hand and Russia on the other and the potential for further sanctions. But in recent days, there have been disputed reports that Russian troops have crossed the border. How are you? Here in Brisbane, the Prime Minister had allies. President Obama said Russia's aggression in Ukraine was appalling and other leaders were sympathetic. The EU's president said if President Putin did not abide by a ceasefire deal, further sanctions would be considered. We will continue to use all diplomatic tools, including sanctions, at our disposal. But President Putin's response is typically defiant. He says sanctions are pointless and illegal, harming world trade as much as Russia's. And to tell the world who's boss, he's deployed four warships off the coast here. But for all the smiles and cuddles, President Putin has clearly had enough of being lectured in Australia and will leave the summit earlier than expected tomorrow. President Putin can see that he is at a crossroads. If he continues to destabilise Ukraine, there will be further sanctions, further measures, and there will be a completely different relationship between European countries and America on the one hand and uh, Russia on the other. But he also knows there is a different path uh, that he could take. He could recognise as he put it to me last night, that Ukraine is a single political space and recognize that that single political space should be respected and should have the ability to make its own decisions about its own future. And if he takes that path, then we can see sanctions eased, we can see a proper relationship between Britain and Europe on the one hand and Russia on the other, uh, and uh, we could have a, uh, an altogether better future.